selfishness, rivalries, and ego. I won't lie, ever since I heard about the concept behind Blue Lock, I wasn't a fan. I never bothered to even read the first chapter, because the very idea of it just felt wrong, especially considering what the sports genre means to me. To me, sports anime has always been this ray of hope, a genre that when done right, encourages me to chase my dreams, motivates me to work hard, and teaches me lessons that I will never forget. From Haikyuu to Aoashi to Run With The Wind, these are stories that moved me, inspired me. To me, sports anime is about hope, and I wouldn't have it any other way. But there was one truth I couldn't deny. Blue Lock was making waves. I mean, October 2022 has been an insane season for anime, with highly anticipated debuts like Chainsaw Man, new seasons for beloved shows like Mob Psycho, and even the return of one of the legendary Big Three, Bleach. Amongst all these internet-breaking releases, Blue Lock somehow managed to stand out. So even though every fiber of my being warned against it, I decided to watch the first episode. And you know what? I was completely and utterly wrong. Blue Lock is fucking phenomenal. If there was one word I could use to describe Blue Lock, it would be fun. From the very first episode in the very first sequence, Blue Lock acknowledges its insanity, embraces its madness, striving to make us feel but one and only one emotion. Pure raw hype. From the dark blue auras to the pitch black paint to the bone chilling smiles and the hungry eyes, Blue Lock excels at the art of hype. These battle shonen esque visuals lean into the insanity of the story, a fast paced, unpredictable, and weirdly inspiring journey of a boy who wants to be the best striker in the world. Our main character is a boy named Yoichi Isagi, a talented striker who used to value teamwork over anything else. However, in a decisive, career-defining match, instead of scoring the winning goal himself, Isagi passes it to his teammate, just like he was taught his entire life. But his friend misses the shot, resulting in Isagi's team losing, not only the game, but also their chances at going to nationals. Isagi is heartbroken after the loss, breaking down on his way home and wondering if he'll ever get to win again. However, when he gets home, he receives a letter from the Japanese football union, inviting him to a training camp of sorts. When he gets there though, he realizes every single player invited to this camp is a striker. And that's when we're introduced to the manic, borderline crazy coach, Ego Jimpachi. Ego tells the boys that they have been invited to join a program called Blue Lock. Its purpose, to birth the best striker in all of Japan. And that would be accomplished by pitting all 300 of these strikers against each other in a brutal, ruthless survival of the fittest training regiment, from which only one superstar would emerge victorious. After all, to be the greatest striker was to be the greatest egoist. Truly, it's a crazy premise, but honestly, apart from the egoism and the selfishness, I was surprised to find that there is a level of depth to it. From the various training exercises, to the high stakes rivalries, to the clashing philosophies of what it means to be a striker, Blue Lock walks a fine line between hype and nuance. Ego splits up the players into groups of 11, based on their rankings out of 300. Isagi is ranked 299, and the rest of his group is in the bottom 11 range as well. They are Team Z, the worst, while Team B would be the best. In order to survive in Blue Lock, teams have to win a certain amount of games if they all want to make it. Or, individuals within the team have to score a certain amount of goals to make it alone. 
So even if your team loses, as long as you score the goals, you can still survive. Now you've got 11 players hungry to score goals, but everyone can't be the striker when playing on a team. That's when it got interesting to me, when I began asking the question, how? Not just how is Isagi going to defeat all of these monsters, or how will Isagi become the best, but how can 11 strikers work together while also trying to screw each other over? It's something that hooked me, an unpredictable element that I still can't get a hold of. Are they gonna find a way around it? Are they gonna betray each other? Are they gonna be best friends? I can never tell, and I love that. And then you've got the action itself, which is a spectacle to watch, particularly because of the circumstances I just mentioned. One of the key ideas of Blue Lock is that this team has to figure out a new kind of football for themselves, a system that works for their style of play. This is not conventional football, not by any stretch of the imagination, which basically means that you have no idea what the players will do. Apart from winning the game, every single player has a personal goal they need to achieve, a personal goal they need to score, and so it never goes how you expect it to. You've got teammates stealing the ball from each other, making unexpected passes that have ill intentions, and shooting from positions that seem ridiculous. And the element that brings all of it together, the bow that ties all these aspects of Blue Lock into a beautiful, exciting, and hype story, is its visuals. The fast, dynamic movements paired with slow, intense realizations create an atmosphere of uncertainty and surprise. The terrifying, focused eyes paired with fiery blue auras invoke a feeling of anticipation and excitement. Blue Lock perfectly expresses that deep, deadly desire to win through dramatic visuals that beautifully complement our beloved characters. We have this group of strikers who are willing to lose everything for the sake of their dreams. For these guys, this is their one chance to prove their worth, their conviction, and their desire to become the best in the world. Their delight, their thrill, their hunger is beyond infectious, and as I watch them, I couldn't help but get chills. Blue Lock may seem dark and edgy on the surface, but to me, it's this badass, fun, and dramatic expression of what it means to win. What it means to want to win. I understand that it may not be for everyone, but as someone who was truly against the idea of it for many months, I was pleasantly surprised by how entertaining it was. Blue Lock might not be as profound or deep as many other sports anime out there, but what I can say with 100% conviction is that it's just really damn fun. So yeah, I admit it. I was completely and utterly wrong. Blue Lock is fucking phenomenal. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, consider liking, subscribing, and all that good stuff. Blue Lock was a manga I avoided for a really long time, and now that I finally watched it, it's easily becoming one of my favorites of this season. If you want to support me, be sure to follow me on Twitter, where I sometimes post my dumb takes and argue with my friends, and you can join my Discord server, The Rain Base, where we like to clown on each other and sometimes talk about anime. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I guess I'll see you on the next one.